Hi everyone, so this is another update about what's been going on paranormal wise. Okay, so a few things actually, I've started to notice that I'll see things with the corner of my eyes. Sometimes it could be an orb, which is quite weird because I've never been able to see that with my own eyes, but it's just like a second, it's not like a full on, um, you know, orb just sitting there, you know, whatever, but it's just like with the corner of my eye. And also notice like figures just might like dash or something at the corner of my eye and I just kind of sometimes feel them like right next to me or up behind me which is quite weird sometimes depending on where I am but mainly in the garage. Um, at night like I'm still having weird dreams and I've been waking up between like 3.30 and 4 o'clock. Um, and I'll hear like really weird noises in the bungalow somewhere but besides that I still haven't seen one yet but I do remember um, I don't know if I've mentioned it actually in one of my much older videos but if I haven't then I remember when I moved here back in 92 when I was a child um, I was living in the main house at the time and back then I didn't believe like well I didn't know what the paranormal was and all that stuff and I didn't really kind of understand what ghosts were I just thought that they were like something that you see on TV and that but I always used to be interested in those type of shows back then as well um, there was one in particular but I, uh, I'm trying to think what it was called something mysteries unsolved mysteries I used to be really really into that as a kid so I guess I kind of had an understanding and may have thought that 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 stuff was real at the time um, but I remember that my tooth fell out one night and I had it in a glass next to my bedside table so my parents could give me money and um, I remember that for some reason I woke up and I was wide awake I know that I was and I seen this like I'm pretty sure it was a little boy and like he was kind of see-through and he he was wearing like a white gown and he was she was sure like a little toddler type height and he had like these white wings as well and when I seen that like when I opened my eyes and I seen him there I was looking at him for quite a fair few seconds he didn't really have a face or anything it was just mainly all white with the wings and just standing there staring at my glass with my tooth in it and I remember I was really really scared from what I'd seen so I closed my eyes and I turned over and I didn't want to open my eyes because I was just so scared of what I'd just seen and to this day I swear that that was an angel and I know people don't believe in that kind of stuff and whatever and people are going to be like oh it was a tooth fairy and <laughs> whatever but honestly I think that it was someone um, it could have been my brother the more and more I think about it but I'm not sure but that's probably the only experience that I've had here where I've actually seen an apparition um, besides that at the moment they're just voices that I hear as well they're becoming quite more common than what they used to be um, seeing orbs with the corner of my eye like I said um, kind of seeing dashes of somebody or someone every now and then I always think that it's my kid running past the bathroom door when I'm standing in the bathroom and I'll look and there's no one there. That happens quite often. Um, my kids don't stand there and talk to spirits like what happens with some people. Um, but my son does still talk about every now and then that little girl from the garage which he hasn't mentioned it since that day that he told me about it so and I haven't heard her either so I don't think that she's been around I was told by a psychic or a medium that I've got seven spirits that live in the bathroom for some reason but that there's several um, evil spirits in the main house and, and I'm like, well, who are they? And they said, well, some of them are relatives, um, but they're all visitors. None of them are, like, bound to the property or anything like that. But when I think about it, I'm like, well, how is that possible? Because none of them do anything. Um, like, stuff doesn't get thrown around. It's just basically seeing the figures every now and then and, like, you know, appearing in photos. But that's about it. So it's like... 
when someone says that you know there's something evil here and that and I I try to dismiss it because nothing ever bad happens here like that like you would see on um, most of the shows where they sell they say that they've got um, you know evil spirits and stuff like that so I don't know but I've got it in mind just in case to you know kind of look out with what happens and stuff and it's just like I'll be sitting here in my room when there's like no one else here and like I'll hear a voice say something but most of the time I can't kind of catch what it is because it's so quick and I'm not expecting that so um, I'm still kind of trying to see what happens as well and also I'm going to see um, if I can capture anything on video as well and maybe take some more videos and we'll just see what happens from there if you've got any questions or anything then just let me know and um, also let me know where you prefer my recordings to be done whether it's in the bathroom or in the garage and I'll see what I can do if you want more photos of say um, the backyard because I've got quite a fair few orbs and sometimes you can see figures in the background there excuse my son in the background there um, but yeah so anyway let me know thanks for watching